Right hello everybody, Ingle Sussman here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm out tonight on a stealth camp. I've camped here before, but I know I were way too close to the farmer's field. This woodland is only small, and for the setup that I've got, I don't really want to camp down here. This is like a small bit of woodland. Now up there, on that hill, just down that way, there's in a farmer's field, but it's a really small field. And I'm thinking that'll be the best place to go for the setup that I've got. It's a stealth camp, so no fire. I'm doing some cooking. What I'll do is when I get there, I'll get my equipment now, I'll show you what I brought with me, and then uh, show you my food. And then we'll just start setting up, settling in for a night camping. I know people have been asking me to do this for a while. So England Games has finished, so I thought why not, let's get, let's get packed up, let's go stealth camping. So yeah, got all that woodland in there. Sort of goes round that way if you see it, and down that way as well. Right, let's go up here where I'm on about, and I'll bring you back. Right, so this is where I want to be. Right here, right in this corner. Probably where it's flattest, you see where it farms, cut the grass. Yeah, it's a stealth camp, we're not too far from places, houses and things like that. So I'm just gonna set up here, show you some equipment, and crack on. Right here where I camp, I think. Yes. Right, so I'll quickly show you some bits that I've got. I've got my OEX tarp, Bush, Bush Pro tarp. And we'll get that out, making much noise. My frying pan. A little bit of oil. I've got some water. That's been leaking a bit. A little drinking cup. And that light's coping some gas and I've got me there's a deer over there yeah just one alone so what is it a deer or we X kettle just put this down mate just running backwards and forwards yeah it's gone now and then I've got a net, camo net, you'll see what that's for soon. Two walking sticks, bet you're getting the idea with this now, aren't you? Uh, low pair bed. Tea set. Sleeping bag liner. We're getting there, we're getting there. Me. OEX tanker cook set. Me OEX bivvy. And then last but not least, me OEX sleeping bag. I'm using the 400 one because it's a little bit nippy at night and I don't need to come out just to camp to be a little bit cold, do I? There's no need for it, me handle. What have we got in this one? And there's just bits and bats. Got my torch, my all light torch. Battery pack so I can charge my phone. I've got my knife, a few videos down on that. It's not a brilliant knife like I thought it was. Lead, teaspoon and stuff like that. And what I'm gonna be cooking on this uh, frying pan, salt and peppered pork belly strips. That's what we're gonna be cooking people. Now I don't know how the camera's doing because we've got the sunset there so it's letting a bit extra light here. So I'm hoping that ain't too bad for you. Right, let's get set up and when I'm set up I'll bring you in to show you just how I'm doing the setup and what I'm going to be doing with that cam on it. Right, so because it's getting dark quick, I'll just quickly show you my setup. It's my tarp. Set up like a lean to off the floor. Off my walking sticks. I've just Peg them out. Same across here. Another one. 
and then just there I think you can see it called just pin the center out to the tree and it gives me quite a good bit of sleeping room doesn't it I folded that under just in case it rains and then the rain can go you know drip off instead of it dripping down at the edge of the tap so that's why I've done that if anyone asks but yeah this is home for night it's seriously starting to get dark now I've heard a few kids around equipment's there next thing I need to do is do what I'm doing with me camouflage net so as soon as I do that I'll bring you back right look at that that is sweet what an idea get in there that's the main road you can hear that's where I'm going to get in and out from there you go around here it's actually camouflaged all the way down the side of my tap a little bit of opening there perfect right so as you can see I've just slipped my stove going to get some dinner going because I'm hungry I've just been listening to deer or deers uh, barking up and down in small woodland below me their noises what they make so yeah I'm going to warm this up, I'll put proper light on in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I just need to find some bits, I need to find this, just to put over there, like so, in fact. And that warms up, and I will put my dinner on it. Right. So, for my dinner, let's get it on because that seems to be warmed up quite nice now. Might save them for the morning. Get them all out of the way. Look at that. It's beautiful people. So because I'm stealth camping, any little noise, I'm listening out for it as well. And that stops me what I'm doing. It's a bit nippy. Not even fully end at the summer yet, is it? But it's 9 o'clock now and it's dark anyway, so winter is coming. If you hear any noise, I've got to like look over and have a look what's out there. The stealth camping is the idea of not getting seen or heard. I'll bring you back when my dinner is ready. Right, so I think they're nearly done. Look at that. Really beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This feels like I'm in a tent, not a tent, sorry, a den. You know, when you're younger and you camp out in your back garden, this is what it feels like. Absolutely awesome. Let's turn these over again while you're on camera, just so you can see the beautifulness of them. I'm going to swap them to over now. Put that in the middle. There we go. Look 
looking so far to be for really I'm hungry actually. Right, well what I have done is I've cut it up into chunks. So I can just give it a bit of a shake and move them around. If I want to nick one off. I can't do. Mmm. Very nice. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a nice taster one. Mm. They are really nice. They taste the chilli. Mm. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the frying pan down to cool down a little bit. I'm going to set my equipment up, let them cool down, and then eat them as I'm setting up. I don't really want to be sitting here eating them. I can sort stuff out as I go over. Really. Yeah. Very nice. Right, so I thought I'd just bring you back in, show you my uh, sleeping setup. This is me OEX Bivy. Really good Bivy, I swear down. If you're going to go outdoors, try and get one of these. This is my OEX Evolution sleeping bag. You can't do it by one hand, can you? Uh, my sleeping bag liner. I always use that as a puller. And this is my... If I can get you in there. Let me blow up. Air map by Ace Line. Really, really good. Don't go down at all fruit night. I do have a review video on this if you want to look at it in my OEX playlist. Yeah. I'm going to have a brew soon. Nice cup of coffee. Rucksack's there. Oh, that's even come down from there, so we'll have to sort that out in a minute. But yeah, I'm almost set up. I can just get in my sleeping bag soon. Have a little rest, and I probably will fall asleep once I put all my stuff on here. And yeah, let's crack on. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to make myself a drink with my little OEX kettle. Let's turn my water bottle around. Look at that lid getting in the way. That'll be enough for one drink, don't you? And then, what I do is, Stick my kettle on, or well, my lid, sorry, kettle. and then I just stick my kettle on top like that, and I just wait for it to boil. Well, I find the bits that I need, like my coffee, my sugars, my cup, and my spoon. Yeah, I'll just leave that to boil for a bit. That's right, so okay. I'm gonna pick some sugars. I've got some white sugar from ration packs that I've had. These are from McDonald's. Come on now, don't be telling me people when you go to McDonald's you don't get an handful of spare sugars because your missus likes a lot of sugar and you keep them when you come camping. These have already got sweetener in them but I prefer them if I have a few sugars as well. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to put some sugar in them. We'll just put two in actually, we won't put three. Then we'll shut the tank case back over. There we go. So yeah, come on everybody. We all know we do it. Kettle's slowly boiling. Everything's ready. I'm looking forward to these drinks. I really need something to drink. Right, well it's safe to say that my kettle's done. Oops, I don't want it any higher, do I? What do you think about my little kettle from OEX? Ah, 
apart from me falling off like that. I reckon this is going to be really nice. It's bloody hot, I'll tell you that. Wow! That's red hot. I need to leave that to cool down. Not the drink. The titanium there has just got red hot. Leave that to cool down for a minute. I'm just going to tidy up because everywhere is a bit of a mess at the moment. I don't want to wake up to do this in the morning, do I? So yeah, let's get sorted. My knife, what's it say about my knife is, I did think my knife was a good one. Angler arms, Anglo arms, sorry. But once I put it on YouTube, a few videos down from this, people were saying, you know, it doesn't stay sharp for long. It's hard to get them sharp. The metal breaks. I think I paid 39.99 for it. So, I shouldn't really expect it to be a decent knife, should I? Right, look at all this. I've got all this room here, and I've gone and tied myself up to this small corner. Yeah. That's all right, I've used that all night, haven't I? You see me using this, and me uh, OBX kettle, my frying pan. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that to cool down. When that cools down, I'm gonna have a drink of it. And then I'm gonna tidy up, and then get ready for bed. Right, so, I'm in my sleeping bag. It's getting a bit nippy, I can't believe it's near enough to end up somewhere it's so cold at night. Me just being a wimp, what do you think? I did put my coffee in the OEX uh, Tikana, if that's what it's called, cook pot because you see around where it says OEX is foamy stuff, it stopped the titanium on there warming up and burning my lips. Oh. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to thank everybody, you know, for subscribing to my channel recently and all my old subscribers staying with me without being any camping videos being uploaded. If I could talk to you and explain why I didn't put any on, I could do it. But unfortunately, you know, some parts of your life you keep extremely secret away from social media. But yeah... Stealth camping, it's hard to keep really quiet. But I haven't been seen yet. No one knows I'm here. I'll show you more around in the morning when we get proper sunlight. But for now, I'm going uh, to just relax. If I bring you up back for all else, I'll see you then. If not, I'll just see you in the morning. Morning, people. Didn't sleep very well. On and off all night. It's only ten past six in the morning, but you know the birds decide to wake me up a little bit, don't they? I don't mind that. The tap got some condensation build up on it. If you can, you know, maybe it's, you can a little bit there, can't you? Yeah, it's got some condensation build up. <sighs> when I wake up a bit better, I'll bring you back and then I'll show you it's set up, you know, from outside tent, shelter, den, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it a den. <laughs> See you in a bit. I'm going to have this coffee when it's made. Let's turn it up a little bit. 
when it's made and then I'm going to have to clean up a little bit because I still didn't clean up when I said last night I was going to do that's my view through my mesh can't really see it can we I'll have this coffee and then I'll show you around from outside a better look. So it was a bit dark last night, wasn't it? really is good to be out and about doing you know, a little bit of stealth camping behind my camera on it <laughs> yeah so this is a better look from the outside I think if you come back a little bit not bad is it not a bad idea at all Yeah, it was all right. It's a shelter, isn't it, people? It did, it worked well for me. Lots of room inside. I'm a bit cold now this morning. Bloody hell, I'm a bit cold. Entrance, let's have a think inside. Yeah, not bad. I really enjoyed this camp. I'm not even going to think about boring you putting it all away packing up and stuff like that so i just want to say thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new viewer and you like it please hit that subscribe button yeah i'm sorry it's taken so long to get back out but you know family life and work and everything always has to come first but yeah so thanks for watching i enjoyed this video making it i hope you enjoyed it as well and i'll see you next time